So let's start with uh, Tyrod. Um, having kind of a veteran guy in here. What, what does he got to bring to that room? Say it again. Uh, Tyrod Taylor. What, yeah, what I can't he... hear you. What was that last part? What does Tyrod Taylor bring to that room? Oh, professionalism. He sets a standard uh, on how we go about our business, how we study our accountability. He's fantastic. How's Drew Stanton been? Good. He had a little comedic input and uh, experience and just a pro as well, knowing how to go about his job, study, being accountable for his business and getting everybody on the same page. I was watching him the other day. He was never far from Baker. Has that been kind of the theme? That's kind of the plan. Yeah, the theme and the plan. And that plays out every day in the meeting room, on the field, and, and we're all in it together. We're all learning a new offense together. So we all rely on each other for the input and feedback and all those things. Over what we just saw, how much was you know, just, just running the plays, just getting it going, and how much was really refining things and tuning things into what it's going to be? Well, we're learning an offensive system, a language, and all those things. And, and when you're doing that, we're, you, everybody tries to start at the same point, move together, and then we'll figure out what we have and, and move in those directions to accentuate the talents of each guy as we go along. Talk about uh, Baker Mayfield a little bit and just what have you seen from him from a development standpoint from day one to now? Well, the best part about Baker is he's hungry. He, he's humble and he's hungry, so he has a chance to learn every day. His mind's not closed off to anything. He knows he needs to know a lot. Uh, he knows that the game's different at this level, and there's a lot of things that he needs to, to get up to speed on. So that part's fun about him, and he takes it each day, and he's hungry, and he, he learns a little bit more each day, and he fights through all the things that are uncertain one day to the next, trying to find clarity. He mentioned that uh, his progress hasn't been as fast as he would like. There's times when it seems like you know we watched him on Monday throw some interceptions out here. Uh, do you have to kind of help him through that process of not getting discouraged because he's so hard on himself? That's the thing I like the best about him. He's not satisfied with where he's at. There's always another level for him. He's trying to find it each day. I'm here to help him find it. And the rest of the guys in that room, we're all trying to help each other find our next day, what our next best self is going to be. And uh, as long as we all come in hungry, we all have a chance to make strides each day we're in the building. I'm sure there's a million things that the rookie quarterback is trying to pick up and trying to improve at. But when you send him out of here for this break before training camp, what are maybe one or two things that you're telling him to focus on that he needs to be better at when he gets back here? Well, when you hear a play, you can visualize it immediately and have a phrase that you can say, I can play the play this way from a read standpoint. So at least you can walk out of the huddle, you can see it, you know how you're going to play it, and then you have a chance. Is he close to, have you seen him make strides in that area? Yeah, we're just talking about making strides every day. And that's what we talk about. Can you see this play in your head? Boom. We've made flashcards. He writes it down. We go through reads. He writes them down. And it's just a daily over and over again of the same thing to get it to the point where you don't think about it. Do you feel like he uh, will have the capability of really nipping at Tyrod Seals in training camp and pushing him and pressing him? Or is this a growth and development training camp for Baker? Well, we're just interested in getting Baker the best he can be. Where all that goes down the road is where all it goes, and that's up to uh, Coach Jackson. Uh, but just getting Baker the best version of himself every day. And we have so much room to go in that area. We'll just keep it to that and, and let it go. You coached against Tyrod. I'm sure you watched the tape during the evaluation process. Now that you know him a little bit, what's what didn't you know? I'm so excited to have him. I just can't tell you how excited <laughs> I am to have him. The standard that he sets and, and the consistency every day, uh, from the time he's in to the time he's out, I have not seen a guy keep those hours in the springtime. It, it just brings some uh, a comfort level. Uh, you know, you can trust him, and, and every day he backs that up. So it's a very comfortable feeling with what you're going to get from him every day. You know exactly what you're going to get. Uh, and just the experience level, what he sees that uh, from, from his time playing that, that other guys might not see at early ages. Do you see any um, on-the-field limitations in him when you watch his film or when you're practicing with him out here? Because I remember there were times like Hugh was here in his first year where Cody wasn't throwing interceptions, but he also wasn't taking enough chances. He wasn't throwing the ball downfield enough. Uh, Tyrod, I mean, is he, is he willing to throw it over the middle? Is he willing to take some chances? And, and well, Tyrod's a starting NFL quarterback, so that, that's the difference to me. And uh, Tyrod's just hitting his stride. He just This is his fourth year starting in the NFL. He's just coming into his own, and, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We, we haven't seen the best from him. When, you, when uh, Baker got drafted, Hugh and John Dorsey said so much good stuff about his, not his intelligence, and when you guys put him on the board. So did you see that when you had him in for the visit and you worked him out, and then how have you seen that translate to now he's here trying to learn an NFL offense? Well, he, he's got plenty of, uh, of mental capacity. The key is 
can you digest the words and process it fast enough while guys are running at you to get the ball to the right guy? And that's just a process of doing it over and over again. We're, we're very, very happy with where he's at uh, mentally, and it's just it just takes time to get through all that and see enough reps. How are you guys um, enjoying all the different things that Tyrod can do? I mean, you and, and Todd, I mean, this is a little bit of a different style. I know you guys have incorporated a lot of these things in your other offenses with the other quarterbacks, but mm -hmm. can you do even more with Tyrod in terms of just his dual threat ability and all of that? Well, I'm a kid in a candy store. There's no limitations with him. He can throw it down the field. He can he can run a, the zone read stuff. He can run a conventional offense. He can do anything you want him to do. He can do those things. So, and like I said, he's just coming into his own. So we're we're still finding out all the areas that we can we can get him into. So as we get going back here in training camp, we'll explore those things as we gear gear the offense towards individual uh, strengths. Are these things that you've always wanted uh, to coach when you've looked around the league and you've seen some guys that are like him. Well, the one thing you'd love to have is a guy that, that's a, a pocket passer that can also run and extend plays. And when you can get the combination of both, you have a chance to really not only fit into tight holes and the timing and anticipation, but then fix a play when it, when it doesn't happen right with your legs. So I'm really excited about having that opportunity to have a dual threat guy that way. And are, are Baker and Tyrod similar in a lot of ways, but also very different in a lot of ways? Or could you, you know? Yeah, I, I guess I just I just tie is tie and Baker's Baker and they, they have their strengths and we'll play within those. I think we, it seems like Tyrod throws us so much accuracy and touch out there. Um, I don't know if I've seen him really let one go 100%. How big is his arm? Well, it's just so easy for him. It does, he doesn't strain to excuse me. It, it, he doesn't strain to to get distance, and that's the best thing. It's just easy for him. He's smooth stroke. He's got plenty of power and distance, so it never looks like he's you know, yeah. grunting to throw. It's just a natural, smooth stroke. He's very strong. And Tyrod probably never really has uh, quite looked out there before and seen a Jarvis Landry, <clears throat> Josh Gordon, Corey Coleman, Duke Johnson. You know, I mean, he's really got a cornucopia of skill players to throw the ball to. Him. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he's happy about all that. I don't know what he's had in the past compared to what we have here, but what we have here is, is what we got and we're going. What about Brogan? What are your impressions of him? He did a nice job in the two-minute drill. He had a chance over there. Uh, just reactions to the defense. Not everything worked out uh, perfect, but how you react, the feel for the game, the anticipation. I was happy with him. I'm really uh, looking forward to getting back in training camp. You get a, I mean, you get a chance to sit down with him. I know the focus is on the guys that are getting more chances and the number one pick and all that. But just, you know, you ever sit down and, and just get to spend some time with him? We did this morning. Yeah. He's. Uh, you know, he, he has a great way about him. He, he sees the brighter side all the time. He's like Ferris Bueller. He never has a bad day. It, everything's good for Brogan, and, and that's another style of personality that, that he adds to the room. It, it creates a nice atmosphere. The potential of Tyrod compared to some of the other quarterbacks that you've coached throughout your career, what is it? Well, again, Ty is Ty, and his, his ceiling is we, we haven't even seen it. So we're going to take it and run with it. And uh, I'm really glad he's here. I'm really glad that, that I get a chance to be a part of his uh, progress, progression as an NFL player. I know you were asked about Drew earlier, but yesterday Baker said, if you don't get along with Drew, something's wrong with you. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's, what's his personality like that I guess he can fit in anywhere? Baker would say that about him. Well, he's, he's so quick-witted. He sees things before they happen. He may throw a line out there that you don't even know he's zinging you with because the delivery is so dry. And it's just uh, fantastic. He's a step ahead of everything in the comedy department. And he's, uh, he's really uh, an underrated player. How about uh, just a couple more? Just you personally, what, what has it been like for you to come here uh, you know, after what happened in Cincinnati? Is this sort of a, a reinvigoration for you? Yeah, I love being here. I love being with uh, guys I know. And I really enjoy the new relationships with the guys that I hadn't known before I came here. And, uh, th there's always a silver lining, and here it is. I'm really excited to be here. I love the building, love the way uh, my family's been treated since I've been here. And uh, all that's going to be good. And as these quarterbacks play better and better, we'll put wins on the board, and we'll, we'll do exactly what we're here to do. What's Todd like to work with is important. He's good because he's a detailed guy. He's a get-it-done guy. And any, you can say anything you want. If you've got an idea, you bring it up. There's no subjects off limits, and at the same time, we're going to have fun doing it. Every room has a veteran, except the one here last year, but you have two. Have you had that before? And, uh, yeah. How much does that 
how much easier does that make your job? Well, it, it makes it easier because these guys are professional veterans. You know, not not every veteran means it's a great deal, but the guys that we have are certainly, they go about their business with a level of accountability and standard that they're setting not only for the room, but for the offense and the team in general. We heard throughout the pre-draft process, we heard some stories about uh, Baker having a really super high football IQ and being really great on the whiteboard. Uh, can you address what his football acumen is? Well, he's right where he's supposed to be. It's not, uh, you know, he's not Albert Einstein, but he's not on the other side either. He's, he's right where he's supposed to be. He's Baker Mayfield, and that, that is plenty to, to handle an NFL uh, playbook and, and handle his progression here with the, with the Cleveland Browns.